Alright guys, as you can see we are here for my highlights of the eSports AOR qualifying round here on the PS4 for the Chinese Grand Prix and I'll leave a link down in the description below to the live stream that happened commentated by Ali K and Alan KV but this is a race where you had to do TTs so time trials to get into this and I feel very honoured to be a part of this race it's definitely probably the biggest race I've ever done in my life and you got members from AOR Obviously, you got members from Team Red Line, uh, F1 Italian Racing, I think it's called, and F1 Race Stars. So lots of leagues from around the world. So to be in the top 20, effectively on the PS4, I know there's obviously people who are not old enough to compete or have chosen not to compete, but I definitely feel very honoured to be part of this race, and I hope to deliver for you guys and achieve some good results. But getting into qualifying now, you can see on my first run on the super soft tyres which I intended to qualify on and start the race on unless I qualified outside the top 10 which we've got to wait and see whether that happens or not but starting the lap so far it's been pretty good and everything was looking good I did a fair bit of practice for this race I think I did two or three race runs not fully all the way through the race but I did sometimes half the race sometimes the full race because I really wanted to practice hard and do well for this race but you can see in this lap it's going pretty well at the moment. I was aiming for around a 132 5 to 7. That would be what I was hoping for in order to qualify well up on the grid. And you can see some times are being put up on the board now. And you can see that time there set by B Colt wasn't actually as quick as I thought the times would be. So I thought if this lap continues how it is at the moment, I can manage to get around a 132 5 to 7 and be near the front at the moment but obviously the times are going to get quicker as the session goes along so opening a DRS as early as you can down the kilometre long back straight here at China you can see Alberto has gone into P1 but on the brakes you've got a car in front of us that's the Force India who's sort of distracting us in a way because like with a car in your eye line it does always distract you even if they're not holding you up but you can see around the final corner using as much of the track as possible and across the line to go P1 with that and if you look at the leaderboard on the top left hand side you'll see that it says P10 at the moment and that was a glitch that everyone had in the game where the leaderboard was not actually saying the real order you can see Nico has gone into P1 with that and you can see he's just in front of me at P8 at the moment on the leaderboard which is another glitch on the game unfortunately and you can also see in the top left hand side it says downloading content permanently so Unfortunately, even though this is eSports, you still got many, many glitches to cope with. And yeah, it is, yeah, I, I don't think it's really acceptable. But you can see, heading into the pits there, I actually got this and next lap invalidated. Even though I didn't cut any corners, I was just going into the pit lane, which, once again, is another glitch. So, the game isn't eSports ready, and you can see the top two there haven't actually set a lap time but they are put first and second so yeah I think I've had my little rant about the game but let's see what we can do in the rest of this qualifying session session if I can even speak uh, so you can see P5 at the moment heading out onto the track for my second run following my teammate F1 Kimmy7 at the moment and you can see getting into my second run now opening a DRS to start the lap and then I remembered it was invalidated when I went into the pit lane so that was pretty much my qualifying over because I had underfueled the car as well. I'd put in as little fuel as possible so I couldn't do a second run. And also I didn't want to do a second run because it would wear out my tyres for the race start. So that's pretty much my qualifying over. Even though I felt I could easily improve on my lap. And you can see at the moment I'm up on the delta as well. And yeah, I was pretty annoyed at this stage. And the leaderboard is still wrong. Saying I'm in P15 now P16 and you can see that guy there has set the fastest lap even though it was a 133 which I've beaten myself and lots of other people have beaten so the game was just glitching everywhere really and eventually it got itself out of its muddle and put everyone in the right order at the end of the session as you will see in a minute but you can see I wanted to go for a second run anyway but then I realised the fuel would run out before the end of the race so there was no point really in the end but pretty annoying considering I could have improved but you can see currently I'm in P11 which is not a bad place to start because I will be on the fresh set of 
softs or whatever tyres I choose to go on at the start of the race and you can see that I went purple in sector 1 as well which makes it even more annoying but starting P11 wouldn't be a bad thing because as I said you've got the fresh tyres whilst the 10 cars in front of you have to start on the tyres that they qualified on and also you'd have seen looking at the weather forecast that it was going to rain during the race so if the soft tyres would be the tyres I start on they could probably last longer and long enough to the point where you would change over into in intermediates compared to the super soft tyres so you can see qualifying is over now and even though I was going for that lap until I got a step of oversteer I knew I probably wasn't going to make it to the end of the lap before the fuel would have ran out anyway but so it's P11 on the grid with Nico Fury on pole position if that's how you pronounce it correctly you can see Alex is in P2 and we are down in P11 with my teammate alongside me so now on the grid for the race once again looking at the weather forecast you would have seen the heavy rain is expected in the middle of the race and you would have seen I've changed my wings to 5.5 five, to, like I increased both wings by one for the wet conditions to enable the car to feel better in the wet but you can see five red lights and we are away for the AOR eSports qualifying round here at the Chinese Grand Prix and it wasn't the best launch for myself I didn't really get the best launch I had quite a bit of wheel spin off the line but you can see yeah a horse spun and lagged on top of me which meant I've lost about five or six positions I was gonna hang it around the outside and hopefully get into the top 10 being leading group but you can see I'm now down into P18 side by side with TRL Manu Dry I don't know how to pronounce that but you would have seen a Renault had just spun there had to avoid him as well but you can see up the inside into first gear temporarily before short shifting up into second side by side with this horse we need to get in front of him but we can't at the moment so P16 it is so from 11th to 16th it's not great at all to be honest so got a lot of overtaking to do and hopefully we can start that in the next couple of corners and we've got to get through these cars as quickly as possible and you can see the Salbo in 14th place is on super soft so hopefully we can pass him as soon as possible but you would have seen someone has already left the session which you weren't actually told to do in the forums you meant to stay even if you retired you meant to stay in the session because it can cause some connection issues unless he had some connection issue which meant he left the session but you can see side by side the Haas and the Salbo in front down the kilometre long back straight here at China and is he going to get out the inside on the brakes yes he is and can we take any advantage of this doesn't seem like we can at the moment so it's P16 for us and the Salba has lost out to the Haas as well so ending lap one for the top guys whilst we are still heading around the final corner so we are quite far behind where I would personally want to be which is in the top 10 so we've got a lot of work to do and the work starts from lap two so heading into turn one we're already looking for an overtake on the Salba and we're going to hug the kerb on the inside to get up the inside into well still around turn one it's a very long turn one here at China and the Salba has the inside for turn two and he has better traction as well because he's on the super soft tyres whilst I'm on the softs but the softs will come to us because the super softs will eventually start to wear out but you can see diving up the, up the inside into the hairpin side by side and once again he's just going to get a bit better traction than us and he's going to have the inside for these S turns here at China so we're going to have to make do with P15 and I believe Floris has lagged out the race as well so we managed to get in one position through that so it's P15 out of 20 for us at the moment but we are a long way off as I said earlier where I'd want to be as you can see now down the straight no DRS at the moment but we are in rich fuel mix down up the inside into the hairpin and you can see we've actually gone a bit wide there and he's going to do the cutback and get back through so yeah I sort of messed up there a bit on the brakes but it doesn't matter if we can get him to the next corner which we're trying to do and you can see in the slipstream trying to go left at the moment before switching right as you can see here trying to get up the inside setting a personal best lap but obviously my lap's nowhere near the top guys who are on super softs and don't have the same traffic as me as I'm trying to get out the inside in the same place as before have we done it this time it doesn't seem like we have although we're going to hang it around the outside this time of the Sauber and that will be the inside for the next couple of corners so through this right kink now on the brakes breaking at the 100 meter board to take the inside line and to take P14 off the Sauber driver and I can't really see his gamer tag from this post race commentary um, screen here but because it's quite small but anyway it's p14 for us out of 20 
and you can see now onto lap 5 the rain has already come and for me I wasn't expecting the rain to come this early and you can see there's a Ferrari off there of Gemzo and we're going to take P13 now so we're gradually making our way up and you can see there's quite a big gap of about 4 seconds to the group in front so my aim was to just slowly chip away at that gap and you can see now on lap 7 it's only taking us 2 laps to catch the vast majority of that gap down and you can see it's a massive group of cars in front so if we manage to catch up to these guys and pass them we'd probably be in around P6 but there's a collision in front and some cars are pitted as well and you can see we've gone through into P9, now P8 now P7, now P5 actually because some cars are pitted but you can see we've got an illegal overtake on my teammate so we're going to have to let him through and we're going to have to go really slow into turn 1 letting B Colt through, letting the cars through as well and my teammate and it's almost the crossover point for intermediate tyres so that's put us in a bit of a bad position now because well it's actually not just a bit of a bad position it's a position that could ruin our race as we are behind our teammate but if we need to pit for intermediate tyres the person who gets there first will obviously not have to queue and the person who gets there second will have to queue which will lose us probably well over 15 seconds maybe more so on this lap my aim was to just get past him I, I knew I had to do it and it, you can see the Haas there went a bit wide and there's a fourth India off as well so we are now up into P7 but that's not really good enough at the moment we've got to get past our teammate in the coming corners so I was sticking as close as I could to him now and hopefully we can set up a move down the back straight and I, I think DRS has been disabled at this moment so he's gone a bit wide through the chicane and he lags a bit as well oh he lags a lot in fact and I don't know whether that's to do with the game or whether that's to do with his connection I saw my connection is well it's definitely really good it works really well for me so I'm pretty sure lag issues aren't my problem I'm pretty sure it's to do with either the game or the other people's connections. You can see DRS is now disabled, but it doesn't matter because we are going up the inside into the hairpin. And he locks up a bit and goes a bit wide, but we are down the inside and we also went a bit wide there. But we have actually made the move, so we are now into a great position in P6, now coming into the pits for intermediate tyres, whilst my teammate is going to have to stay out for another lap on the dries in these intermediate conditions as we head into the pits behind B Colt now. So we have sort of saved our race there that was probably one of the most important parts of this race for us because we had to make that move else we'd lose probably around five six seconds by staying out an extra lap or maybe more by queuing up in the pits but you can see still behind B Colt at the moment but heading out onto the intermediate tyres and I knew that it was going to go to full wet weather so the full wet tyres will be in use very soon and I was wondering whether to stay out on inters throughout the full wet time or to pit for full wets and I was just going to wait and see how it goes but you can see Brandon in front is struggling a bit on the intermediate tyres in these conditions at the moment we're going to get through and I felt like my setup was working okay but not great in these conditions and it was more set up for dry but you can see we've gone through on Brandon anyway to take P11 and he's got the slipstream now once again but no DRS of course and he's going to try and go around the outside of the hairpin he breaks a bit later than me but we're going to do a bit of a block pass well it wasn't really a, a pass it was more defence there but my teammate is now finally into the pit so he's lost a lot of time but we are now into P11 past Brandon and there's more cars in the pit so we are now going to be in the points despite having a car on top of me at turn 1 on lap 1 as well so at this stage I was really really happy and I was just hoping I could maybe get some more out of this race and you can see now on to lap 11 I think that says into the pits now for extre extreme well full wet tyres whatever you want to say and you can see I actually got a corner cutting warning there just like I did in qualifying for entering the pits so GG Codemasters and apologies if you can hear rain on my conservatory roof once again I can't help that I can't help where my PS4 is in my house but anyway into the pits for the full wet tyres I decided not to stay out on the intermediate tyres because purely I thought I'd lose too much time and the inters wouldn't last to the stage of the race where the dry tyres would be back in use so you can see exiting the pits now in P12 out of 19 and hopefully we can do some overtaking in these conditions which are 
pretty much my favourite conditions on F1 games. I've always liked the wet weather and I've always been pretty quick in the wet weather. But to me, I felt like I wasn't actually as quick on this game as I was in 2016 in the wet weather, like comparing myself to other drivers. And you would have heard Jeff there, the engineer, say that other drivers are putting in good times on the intermediate tyres. So he'd sort of made me lose confidence in my choice of tyre to go onto the full wets. But eventually, you can see Aresi, the reigning PS4 AOR champion, in front of me. And a lot of people had chosen to go onto the full wet tyres. And eventually, we started making a lot of time on the guys on the intermediate tyres. And you can see Gemzo behind me on the intermediate tyres who was slowly catching me but then as the conditions got worse we started to pull away <coughs> and uh, yeah so now we've just got to focus on our lap times at the halfway stage of the race now and yeah I, I, you can see the lag here that I, I'm having I, you can see all drivers are lagging in front of me which I actually lost time through that because I was braking quite a lot I don't think well I'm pretty sure that's not my issue that's not my connection issue because I know a lot of you guys race me and I well let me know in the comments if you think I have any lag but when I'm racing people like my brother I never really have any lag issues so I think it's something to do with the game as you can see the Renault there on the intermediate tires broke really really early into turn one and I've actually lost half my front wing so I don't know whether that was to do with his confidence or lack of confidence on those tyres in these conditions but to me it, <laughs> it didn't really look natural at all to break that early it looked a, a bit like a bit of a brake test if I'm honest so P10 it is for us with half my front wing and you can see Shelley in front of me on intermediate tyres as well and we're gaining on him and in fact he lets me through on the straight line so if Shelley if you're watching I appreciate that that was helpful for my race definitely to not be held up but even with the damage, it was likely when intermediate conditions came back, when the rain would ease off, that I'd be holding you up eventually. But you can see, heading into the pits, back onto the intermediate tyres. And a lot of the people who'd stayed out on the intermediate tyres ended up pitting at the same point because their intermediates were worn out. So, onto lap 18 now, heading back onto the intermediate tyres. And I should think it won't be long before we're on the dries again. So it's gone from dry to intermediate to wet to intermediate to dry. So losing time now in the pits, changing my front wing. So that's not good. I've probably lost about six seconds through that. So yeah, and you can see Brandon Bcult93 has been held up in the pits by absolutely nothing. So I don't know what that's about. It might well be another glitch on the game. But anyway, heading out the pits in P14 <coughs> here on lap 18 out of 28. And at this stage, I knew if I just put in some good laps obviously now with a full front wing I may be able to score some points but I was actually losing hope and I thought it might be an anti-climax scoring well out the points but we were putting in some good times in these conditions you can see getting past Shelley now who I believe was on some worn intermediate tyres I'm not actually too sure about that but getting through onto the back straight now and that's P12 for us and I knew some people were staying out on the extreme wets as well so they might well come out behind me when they eventually pit for intermediate tyres. I think they were in, intending on staying on extremes to the point where it goes dry, but that was never really going to happen, to be honest. And you can see, lap by lap, people are pitting, and we are going up into ninth place, now eighth place. And, yeah, we are back in the running for some points now in P8, which would be a good four points, considering all that's happened to us today. So I'll definitely take that. And... Obviously, some of you guys won't know this, but you got to get into the top three in the championship after these three esports races to qualify for the semi finals in London. So, if I was to get in top eight, it wouldn't really be a great amount of points to get me in the running for one of the places to London. But let's see what we can do in the remaining part of this race. You can see lap 25 onto the super soft tyres and it should you'll probably see a lot of fastest laps coming up over the next few laps but P9 it is as some people have stayed out on the intermediate tyres trying to get to the end of the race on the intermediate tyres which to be honest I knew I knew that wouldn't work for them so I was pretty confident I was going to get up into 8th or 7th possibly and I, I wasn't actually sure how many people stayed out 
on the intermediate tyres but our pace was looking really good in the intermediates and the dries and also in the extreme wets so overall I was pretty happy but I haven't got the pace of the top top guys such as Alex and Nico Fury even though Nico is actually behind me because he messed up on the strategy so hopefully we can hold on to this position you can see we've, he's not actually too far behind me and you can see we got past the Haas there who had a five second gap on me at the end of sector one and then after the S bends I managed to catch up five seconds just proving how bad those tyres were at that stage of the race but you can see P7 it is at the moment as Jay Thorne comes into the pits and he stayed out on the intermediate tyres trying to get them to the end so we are now into P6 here on lap 27 as Aresi sets the fastest lap of the race I wasn't really going for fastest laps I was just keeping it in standard and hoping the car would be fine and saving fuel to the end of the race just making sure I wouldn't make any silly mistakes and aiming to score some decent points in P6 and you can see now some of the people are heading on to the final lap as Big C the leader who'd absolutely nailed his strategy has been disqualified from the race and at that stage I knew what was going on he had the mandatory tyre glitch which I've had in some of my AOR socials which you guys may have seen and that shouldn't happen anyway in the dryer but in the wet conditions the mandatory tyre rule doesn't even apply so that's another glitch with the game and Big C had lost his win even though he got reinstated in the end so he'd lost the moment of winning a race but he still won it in the end so it's, it's alright for him so we are it says we're in P5 but we are in P6 and all, all we've got to do now to get to the end of the race is just negotiate this final lap and score 8 decent points to get P6 in this race despite being down as low as P18 after turn 2 so heading into the final corner now weaving towards the line Big C took the win and he, he actually qualified behind me but that just proves we could be in the running if the next two races at Bahrain and Suzuka go well but it's P5 for us even though it's P6 in the end because of Big C being reinstated but yeah I was pretty happy with that I thoroughly enjoyed it and as I said earlier I'll leave a link in the description below to the live stream which I recommend you guys go and check out it's got some really really good commentary in it and I recommend you go and subscribe to AOR Fizzy to watch next week's race and the week the week after's race as well live so P6 is for us 8 points that's only 3 places behind where we need to be to get to London it's going to be hard to get to London I'm definitely not expected to get there I don't expect myself to get there I'm an underdog really as you can see the podium now is going on but if I was to get there it would be a bonus and I don't expect to I'll just see how it goes really and try my best and see how it goes I'll be happy with just being in the running for it really for my first try at AOR Esports qualification so I'm pretty lucky to be here anyway after get, you have to do the time trial to get here and I actually forgot to put a certain screenshot up but luckily I'm in anyway so I hope you guys have enjoyed this there are the final results ignore Alex being in P1 it's actually Big C but you can see the podium is Big C Alex Alberto from F1 Italian I believe it's called and H Racing Green is in P4 and we are in P6 and yep yeah. so I hope you guys enjoyed and you can see I'm looking at the race director at the moment some of the incidents a lot of these exceeding track limits were due to actually entering the pits so yeah well done Codemasters but anyway hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you for the Bahrain Grand Prix in a week's time so I hope you enjoy and I'll see you very soon goodbye